Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. I am Dion. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. This channel is all about all sorts of crazy, and I have started uploading different types of videos, um, which I have been saying I was going to do and I didn't, but I will label videos accordingly so you can watch what you want to watch and not watch what you don't want to watch. This video, as the title says, is just my face of the day. I am going out later. Um, so I'm just going to run through try to be as quick as possible what's on my face today. I started with the eyes because I am using Inglot pigments, which I've had, <laughs> I don't know how many years I've had them. Um, <laughs> and I was going to give them away and I said, you know what, let me see what I loved about them so much because the colors are awesome. And really what I was trying to do was, I was on the fence about keeping the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. What I, what I particularly wanted to do was to see if these pigments would give me the similar looks that I was getting with the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. And so that was the purpose of me bringing these out versus just giving them away. And I'm glad that I did because I, I was reminded of how easy these are to use. So let's start from the beginning and I'm starting to sweat already. The Fenty Eyeshadow Primer, which I love. On my lid, I used, this is number 40. Hopefully I will not make a mess. That's on, I should have brought something to point with. That's on the first third of my lid. And this on the center of the lid is number 66. I was going to say 56. This is on the center. And each of these colors, I took a little bit up into my crease so that when I look at you, you can still see those brighter colors. On the outer third of the lid, I use number 16. That is what that looks like. With the tip of a brush going in and using the tip directly slightly above the crease, I use number 65. And this side did not want to really blend out too well. And so I took a fluffy brush and I went into my Born, I'm sorry, What is this called? <laughs> Born to Run, I was right. I took Born, I opened up Born to Run and took Weekender, which is this shade right here. And so I used that as a highlight and to blend out that crease color. I feel like I'm going too slow now. Then I did my face, but we're gonna finish the eyes. Under my lower lash line, this is a Tartis um, double-ended eyeliner. One is a, a felt tip. But I did not use this end. I used the pencil end. Oh, look at my face. I'm sweating. I used the pencil end underneath my lower lash line. And then I went into my Viseart Neutral Matte Milieu Palette. And I used this shade here on top of the liner underneath my lower lash line. For foundation, primer, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. <laughs> And then I did my concealer first, the Sephora Bright Futures Gel Serum in 11.5, which is butterscotch. Put that under my eyes. And then the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G60. I have it upside down because it's almost empty. And because of the, the frostiness of this plastic, I can't tell like how much is in here. So I just been storing it upside down. So I did that. And then I used the Lancome Long Time No Shine Setting Powder all over my face and I used the Fenty Cashew Setting Powder on the perimeter of my face. Fenty Bronzer by John Gal, Beijing Gal, not sure how to pronounce it, on the perimeter of my face as well and under here. <laughs> and Caramel Cutie, the Fenty Bronzing Powder just in the hollows of my cheeks and feathered it up. I am super sweaty. Oh my gosh. And it's like, right, do you guys sweat like under your eyes? Like, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> went into the Ofra Madison Miller palette that was in the Ipsy box. I used this middle shade here as a blush. Then what did I do? Um, Fenty Brow Pencil in Soft Black. Um, 
the rock front of the pro top of the line or something <laughs> black eyeliner which i've been using for probably over 10 years buxom inside eyeliner and sapphire on my upper and lower waterline almay intense eye color volumizing mascara i have my reading glasses here but i'm not going to bother putting them on so i use this i'm still on the fence about this i mean it does what a basic mascara is supposed to do so uh -huh. and because i did all that and then forgot to spray my face with setting powder before I put my eyeshadow on. This is the brush I actually used that I sprayed. This is the Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. I sprayed this on the brush and dotted it on. Like instead of spraying your face and then going over it with the sponge, I said, that was gross, <laughs> excuse me. So I sprayed it on the brush and put it in my problematic areas, which are my smile lines. Um, forehead under my eyes so this is the brush that i'm still using to just kind of take the sweat away while i'm sitting here in front of you that is everything on my face minus um chapstick i didn't do a lip yet because i am going out in about three hours or so and i'm like if i put on a lip now i'm gonna have to just take it off to eat or drink or whatever before i go especially since it's not for like three hours from now so but thank you for watching if you have any questions i do believe that is everything on my face if you like this look, let me know. If you don't like the look, let me know that too. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you like. I was going to say the craziness, but I wasn't too crazy in this video or too goofy in this video. But anyway, check out my other videos. And if you would like to subscribe, I would appreciate it. And also hit the notification bell. And comments are always welcome. Thanks, guys. Bye.